What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got some MT methods. We got some market talk. As per usual, make sure we get in the video. Smash that like button, drop the sub, all that good stuff, bro. We're so close to 10K. Make sure to keep dropping that sub. 100 likes on the video. And we are going to do some MT giveaways on Twitter. 100K MT giveaway coming soon, bro. Especially when we hit 10K, we'll definitely do an MT giveaway. So yeah, make sure... To smash that like button, drop the sub. And also, man, if you need MT, you're buying, you're selling, hit me up on Twitter, bro. I got the deals. Let me know. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into some market because honestly, market's a little weird. It's not really crashed. It's just simply weird. First off, they didn't drop any new content today. So that's something you want to take advantage of. There's no new content. What you should be doing is simply just sniping and just making that MT, grinding out TTO. TTO, one of the best ways to make MT right now. They have fire, fire, fire packs on there. They got the new, they got the KD packs on there. They got the Simone's pack on there. They got a ton of prime packs in there. And as you guys can see, I'm saving up all these packs for a giant prize pack opening for you guys. So I'm grinding triple threat and we're going to get into it. So let's go over to market. Let's talk about it. So right now the market's really freaking high, really high. And I'm going to tell you why. So first off, they haven't dropped any content to really crash the market. The only thing they dropped was LeBron. In these packs is Draymond Green, Robin, Westbrook, Spell Web. These cards aren't usable. Robin's pretty good, but I don't know if a lot of people are going to use them. Draymond Green's pretty usable, but I don't know. We'll see. So with that being said, there's really only one card that people are focusing to get. It's LeBron James. Now, LeBron James, his rarity is out the wall. So we're going to go over to LeBron James' price, and I'm going to just tell you, like, LeBron James' price is so freaking high. And simple, simple this card is so overpriced and since he's so overpriced and so rare kids aren't going to crash the market with this card this card is 1.4 mil now i have not got my hands on him i would love to he'll probably run around 700k soon because if you do remember galaxy opal shack was about a mil point two now he's around 800 so that's just something you want to pay attention to pricing is key kareem's up to 400 Yao Ming's down a little bit. Everybody is up so much. And also, I'm going to have another video later about the auction house glitch and all that good stuff. So right now, what you guys should be doing is 110% selling your cards. They have to drop some fire this week. First off, I think we're going to get Prime tomorrow. We're most likely going to get Prime tomorrow. It's going to cause a mini market crash. And then Friday, we're going to get something even better. Possibly out of position two or something like fan favorite. Something like that. Something like a new promo. So with that being said, if they drop Prime tomorrow... First off, they have to drop Prime this week. If they don't drop Prime this week, they ditch Prime. Straight up. Because if you think about it, they only have Luka. If they only have Luka, I think they might have two Prime players dropping tomorrow because they need juice packs. Two Prime players, Paul George, Kawhi, Giannis, whatever it is, it's going to be in the Prime set. So whoever this mystery player is, it's going to be the GOAT. It's going to be insane. It could be the Knight. It could be a GOAT MJ or something. So that being said, sell your cards. How about some Snipe Filters? Reset your team. As you can see, bro... I sold all my cards. I just invested in a lot. This is literally my team. It's garbage. Like, you can literally look at this collection. It's straight trash. Like, literally, I sold my team. I have some players. Probably this is like a 300K squad. And honestly, with that being said, a 300K squad is not that good. I haven't really been playing Unlimited because it's literally the sweatiest thing and it just makes me rage. So I stopped playing Unlimited. I've just been playing TTL. I'm really good at TTL. I always get to the five boards. To make a lot of MT, TTL is the key. So whatever, let's get into some pricing. Let's get into some methods. So first off, like I said, bro, the best filter right now is the diamond filter because Westbrook is in packs. So if you want to make a lot of MT and you have cheap, you don't have that much MT, you have like 20K or whatever, diamond filter for 4K, method, method, method. Why? Because Westbrook, Westbrook has all the methods. If you get Westbrook for four, you could sell him for eight, nine. So first off, not only is it Westbrook, there's so many other diamond cards that go for 20K plus. You sit on this filter for long enough. If you do this filter for a solid 10 minutes, you're going to make a lot of MC. This filter is going to be goaded. Not only that, pretty much 
any filter right now like yeah it's gonna be gold as long as you have the patience it's just the filters right now are very slow on xbox there's no packs the out of position packs are from friday those are hype they're over hype they're outdated now um uh, pretty much they're fire the first two days and then they slow down because in my opinion if you don't pull in with the first couple hours i feel like the odds are terrible like I've been pulling those packs. I probably pulled like a hundred. Um, I probably pulled like ten of those packs. I literally didn't get anyone from the set. I got Spud Web once. The pack odds are terrible, and there's only four cards in the pack that you could pull that are literally valuable. No, not four. Two cards. Like this Robin's 20k. If you're gonna waste your MT on these packs, you gotta be crazy. Stay away from these packs. They're terrible. Rack up your MT. Literally, if you want to pop packs so bad, grind yourself on TTO. You're literally gonna get a pack on every board. I promise you. They've been playing packs on almost every single board. So really, TTO method. Right now, though, there's a couple things I want to talk about as well. With the auction house glitch and everything going on, the Opal filter is so strange. Like, it's good one day, it's not good the other day. And also, do not sell your cards from 2 to 7 Eastern. Simple. If you have Opals. If you have Pink Diamonds, you can go ahead and do so. But if you have freaking Opals, do not put them up for two between 2 and 7 Eastern because literally you will get scammed. You will lose a Opal for 100k MT. You never want to trust it. But what I've been doing, um, once I get my MT back up, I'm hopping on Opal Western. There's so many cards on the Western side, so much MT you could possibly get on that side. And also, if you didn't check out my uh, video yesterday, that was a really good snipe tipping video. Really good top snipe filters in the NBA 2K20. So if you didn't check that out, make sure to go check that out. Hopefully we do get a locker code today. There was no content literally no content like how is there no content in this game so that's that no content we'll probably get a locker code hopefully it's a really op locker code maybe a free oval locker code because they haven't really gave us any really good locker codes in a little bit um like i said they gave us the elvin hayes if you guys did get them congrats they have no new cards here yet they should be dropping one very soon but uh yeah so i'm gonna go over it one more time so pretty much what i want you to do sell your cards get some investments no not now is not a good time to investments if you have investments make sure to sell your investments make sure to sell your cards get your mt get your mt ready for either tomorrow which i believe is going to be prime get your mt ready for friday now what should you do to make the most mt first off i'm going to say tto after a tto game i would simply recommend hopping on either the diamond filter or the ami filter why because it's the most consistent it's the less less stressed version of sniping it's the cheapest version of sniping like straight up think about this if you hop on the ami filter um and you're just sitting here like first off there's gonna be snipes popping off the wall and not only that let's say you just sit here for five minutes out of the tto game you cop one card for 1k another card for 1k and another card for 1k you should be able to get at least three amethysts in five minutes so like right there that spud web i can't buy oh i can buy it so right there, it's about like it goes for like a 2k. So right there, I'm gonna make 600 MT quick. That's in literally less than a minute. 600 MT. Let's say you make 600 MT a minute, right? Five minutes go by. Six times five, 3k MT. Hop in a TTO game. You play the game. You get 500 MT for that. So like every 10 minutes, you could be making five to 20k. Now if you do that, it's literally just going to add up, and you're going to make the most MT. But why do I say TTO is so good? First off, you're playing the game and it's not that stressful. Unless you verse a sweaty loser that just runs back and forth and drives, that's toxic. But if you have a really good TTO team, like I like, I recommend Mo Bamba, Levine. I recommend centers that are fast and can shoot. Um, Manu Bowl is a really good option. He's 7 7. But if you're playing TTO, you're going to make a lot of MT. You do this method every single time every single time every day an hour a day you're gonna if you do it an hour a day you're gonna make a minimum of 50,000 mt an hour so just think about it you go into tto you play the game you come out you snipe for five minutes you make upwards of 2k to 10k to 20k whatever you snipe you go back in a tto game you test out the waters it's simple whatever you get from the tto game if you want to save up your packs for a pack opening that's completely fine with me like literally i have 15 packs i probably went through two boards in 15 packs these packs aren't the best the Rose is pretty good, the Frostbite's pretty good, the New Year's Resolution, the All-Star Packs. So as you can see, there's clearly some decent packs in there. If you get the good packs, you're going to make a lot of MT. Hopefully, you pull some good stuff. And yeah, that's all I got for the video. Just some tips, easy methods, easy, easy methods. Literally, no effort, no stress, simple, simple, simple. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Get ready for 10K. Have a good one. Peace.